My name is Rob Richards. I'm the lead artist on Echoes of the Heart, which is a nine foot tall biomorphic anatomical human heart that's made mostly from sustainable building materials and it's bound for Burning Man 2024. We believe very strongly in the transformative and healing power of art and communal expression. The piece is designed to collect about 50,000 recordings from the community and play them back in real time. And these recordings represent the memories of grief and trauma that our hearts carry throughout the courses of our lives. Our heart has a memory just as significant as our mind. And that is something that people need to be aware of so they can fully experience their story and the world around them and the stories of those that they love. So the human heart is made up of a collection of cells that are really similar to brain tissue. And it has a sort of neural network in it that collects and stores its own memories independently of the brain. And so when people experience things like trauma, these memories get stored in both places. Even after they've received cognitive therapy, uh, these, these physical symptoms can still linger for years and years afterward. Then in the core, there's a system of speakers that carry, that are connected to these little acoustic tubes that run all throughout the structure. And then that's what carries the sound of the outside of the piece. So when you're walking up to it, when you approach it, there's these little openings in the outside of the cage and you can put your ear up to it and you'll hear the recordings played back. And at every opening, you'll hear a different recording that it's gonna have a very different tone and emotion. And the LEDs that are on these, these tubes will react to the recordings in real time. And these are symbolic of these sort of neural pathways in the heart and the kind of neurological and physical responses that our bodies have to the emotions that we, that we go through. We're gonna have a phone booth set up next to the structure uh, and it's gonna be an enclosed, safe, quiet space where people can pick up the phone and leave a 30 to 60 second recording that's gonna get collected uh, inside of the piece. And that'll be played back along with all of the other recordings in real time. My hope is that people, you know, you know, it's sort of like a message in a bottle, right? Where people can come up and leave messages or things to other people, things that they wanted to say to someone, maybe that they know that they never had a chance to say or never felt that they could. So the structure is made of these 15 individual modular panels that we're sculpting out of geopolymer cement, which is a category of materials that are designed to reduce the environmental impact of Portland cement. Portland cement is the second largest producer of carbon dioxide in the world. Using materials like geopolymer cement, what we're doing is we're taking primarily waste materials that are already being sent to landfill, and we're using them to create these sort of experimental materials that are actually stronger and more resilient than traditional Portland cement. By far, the most difficult part of this piece is figuring out how to actually translate this geometry into the real world. Um, this piece has a lot of like organic compound curvature, which is notoriously difficult to fabricate. And there's, there's close to 500 joints in this piece that all have to be you know, individually plotted and then fabricated. So what we're doing is we're using a combination of a stellar coordinate system that runs through the spine so we can locate each one of these panels on a two-dimensional three-point plane. Uh, and then we take that plane and we use it to generate the form that we then use to create the mold <clears throat> for each one of these panels, and there's 15 panels. I'd say probably the most fun that I've had so far has been experimenting with this novel material that we're using called Ferroc. And the first weight test that we did on it actually exceeded our expectations by so much that I ran out of weights during the test before it actually broke. Uh, and you know that playing around with these, these, these new materials is, you know, it's like, it's like being a kid, you know, it's almost like I'm playing with Legos in a way. The public response to this piece has been really, you know, it's been both overwhelming and really deeply moving at times. Uh, we've had so many people in the community that have reached out to us to share these really deeply personal stories. Uh, and there's, there's been moments when I've, you know, I've almost been moved to tears because it's really touching as both an artist and as a trauma survivor myself to have all these people share this, uh, these really, really personal, vulnerable parts of their lives with the project. I would like to personally thank you for con considering contributing to this project. If you're unable to contribute financially, please at least help us to spread the word about the project through social media, through telling your family and friends, uh, and helping us get the word out any way that we can. And also, we'd like you to please submit a recording. We need to collect as many of these recordings as we can before we get to the playa. So by donating to our project, you're helping us to not only cover our construction costs, but our transportation costs of getting to the playa, and also our camp expenses and food and water for our built group. So maybe in our mind, we have everything that we've absorbed from the world around us, whereas in our heart, in our soul, that doesn't have eyes, there is a narrative that is purely from ourselves. 